Welcome back folks this is Dr. Paul thank you for tuning to our channel today and today I want to talk about the important differences between primary biliary cholangitis and primary sclerosing cholangitis and this topic confuses lot of students lot of doctors lot of patients because the names look so similar so I prepared this chart I mean you don't find this chart anyway because I personally prepared this chart for patients and doctors and medical students so please look at this chart to understand the differences between primary biliary cholangitis and primary sclerosing cholangitis basically primary biliary cholangitis it used to be called primary biliary cirrhosis but now it is called primary biliary cholangitis its immunologic attack on the intralobular bile ducts that eventually leads to cirrhosis and liver failure. Whereas primary sclerosing cholangitis is a progressive disease characterized by inflammatory structures involving intrahepatic and extrahepatic biliary tree. So remember these definitions and uh, that helps you a lot. The symptoms and signs you see pruritus and jaundice here fever and chills mostly. I mean, they are interchangeable, but these are the most common in each disease. And another thing is, there is no association with uh, inflammatory bowel disease here. And in uh, PSC, you will see um, inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis. It is 75% uh, of patients with PSC can have inflammatory bowel disease. And here, the autoantibodies are antimitochondrial antibodies. This is the hallmark of PBSC. Whereas here it is P. Anka. Here you see female predominance. Here you see male predominance. Here you will see scarring of intrahepatic bile ducts, non separative cholangitis, destruction of small or medium sized bile ducts. Whereas you will see here, onion skin pattern that's very important to remember that's uh, many questions come with those that phrase onion skin pattern on liver biopsy where do you see this in primary sclerosing cholangitis and most patients are asymptomatic here when diagnosed at the time of diagnosis most patients are symptomatic here and on mrcp you will see a beads and a string appearance in psc whereas you don't see that in pbc and there is a high risk of cholangiocarcinoma in PSC and low risk of cholangiocarcinoma in PVC. And there is a good response to arsodeoxycholic acid in PVC, whereas there is a poor response to arsodeoxycholic acid here. So remember this because many times when, when you are asked about these things, you can get confused between the two. But if you remember this uh, uh, table, it will be easy to... Uh, understand these concepts and also to answer the questions. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to our channel.